Aloha, Aloha everyone. everyone. I'm Mikela. And I'm Scott. And this is Leo. And we want to welcome you to our online platform. We're so excited because today we have our lead pastor, Pastor Daniel. He's going to be continuing our series on the life-giving words of Jesus. And we have this super cool testimony that's going to be coming to you straight from the beach about Ooh. what does it look like to really be baptized in the Holy Spirit. So check out today's online platform. Hi everyone, we've been on this incredible series, the Life-Giving Words of Jesus series, and it was awesome to have mom and dad give the message last week, whether it was online or in person. It's been great, it's been wonderful. So it's my turn today, and um, I'm gonna be sharing with you one of the, the most important things ever, but before I share that point, have you ever thought about the question, is there a better way to live? Right? When you think about that question, for some people who struggle with FOMO, you're constantly asking yourself that question. For others, you might be living really full lives. You're like, is there a better way to live? And the answer to that question is a resounding yes. The key component to living a better life is being filled with the Holy Spirit. I want to share with you three things today that would give you that better way of life. And the first one is, is a really, for some of you who might be struggling with lack or some of you might be having too much, the first key is how to start living the fulfilled life, how to start living the better way. The second thing is what are the results of living that way? And thirdly, I'm going to give you a practical step on how to live the fulfilled life every single day. So as we begin here, the first thing that I want to share with you literally are the life-giving words of Jesus. In Acts chapter 1, so he's about to go to heaven, and he's, this is his last words to his disciples right before he's about to go back into heaven. And he says this in verse 3 of chapter 1 of Acts. He says, Wait here to receive the promise from the Father, which is the gift of the Holy Spirit, which I told you about. John baptized people with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with or by or in the Holy Spirit. And he says this on, in verse 8, But when the Holy Spirit comes to you, you will receive power. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea, in Samaria, and every part of the world. So how do you start living the fulfilled life? Well, the first thing is you got to stop waiting. I think a lot of people in this world are waiting around for the right thing. And they're so busy or they're lacking. you got to stop waiting and start asking. How do you start living the fulfilled life? Stop waiting and start asking. Start asking for what? Well, Jesus said it this way. In Luke 11, 9 and 13, dad talked about this, mom talked about this last week. He said this, So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. How much more will your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? We got to stop waiting and start asking. Start asking for the Holy Spirit. Start looking for Him in your day. Start asking Him to fill you up for uh, whatever you're going through and whatever conversation you may be dreading to go into. Ask. Start asking for the Holy Spirit. It doesn't get any better than that. You're going to see this illustrated in a video testimony we're going to be showing you in a couple minutes of what that looks like and, and the results of that. So let me go into that. What are the results of living this way? It's two words, fruitfulness and friendship. Fruitfulness in the Holy Spirit, right? Galatians 5.22, this is from the Passion Translation. It says, but the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions. Joy that overflows, peace that subdues, patience that endures, kindness in action, a life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart, and strength of spirit. Isn't that great fruit to have in your life when you're full and filled and fulfilled with the Holy Spirit, right? But not only are you going to have fruitfulness, you're going to have friendship with the Holy Spirit, which is awesome. You're going to have the best friend you ever had, the protector who is always going to be looking out for you, the leader that you can follow, and the best counselor who is going to defend you. It's amazing. John 14, 6. This is Jesus' words again. He says, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another Savior. And the word Savior implies friend, counselor, protector, defender. Although I just described the Holy Spirit of truth who will be to you a friend just like me. And get this, he will never leave you. 
as you go throughout your day, you're going to have the best friend you will, you've always wanted. You can talk to him throughout your day, uh, whatever you may be going through. And so these are incredible results. If you want to live a better way, stop, stop waiting, start asking, be filled with the Spirit of God, be baptized in the Holy Spirit, which you're going to see illustrated in this video right now. Um, and in this video, I give some instructions of, of, of three kinds of baptisms, and you'll, you'll be watching that. But at the end of it, you're going to see a real-life testimony of someone who gets all three types of baptisms being filled with the Holy Spirit so he can live a better way and live the fulfilled life. Let's watch it together. The question is, have you been filled with the Holy Spirit today? And maybe the, if you haven't, you, you got to do that today. Um, the second thing is, if you've never been filled with the Holy Spirit, I want to encourage you, get baptized in the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. In fact, this has been something we've been discovering through our spiritual grandfather, Ed Savoso, where he brings it out in his book, Ecclesia. There are three important baptisms that need to take place. The first one being the baptism of John the Baptist, which we all know where John the Baptist is calling people to repent from their sins. And then the second baptism is the baptism of Jesus, where we see his disciples baptizing people. And in fact, he also told people to do that. Uh, and the reason being, and we also say we believe in that, for people to get baptized for a public declaration that you are a Christian now. You are a follower of Jesus Christ. Jesus is your Lord and Savior. The third baptism is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And in fact, we see that in Acts 8 where the apostles are going around and they're discovering that people got baptized in, in the baptism of John the Baptist, the baptism of Jesus, but not the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And the Apostle Paul encourages believers to not just get baptized in the Holy Spirit one time, but to be continually filled by the Holy Spirit every day, daily. And so if you've never gotten baptized by the Holy Spirit and in the Holy Spirit, I wanna encourage you to do that, to contact uh, us, contact our pastors. We wanna do that with you uh, for you to, number one, do the three for one deal, man. You know, do the three for one deal. If you've never been baptized before, get baptized, repent of sins, repent uh, the baptism of Jesus Christ, and then the baptism in the Holy Spirit. As I'm driving over Kewalo Basin, that's what we're gonna get to do today. We're not gonna only have get to do one kind of baptism. We're doing the three for one deal today. It's a three for one deal. And uh, this is exciting because um, uh, we're gonna be baptizing Dean. And he was actually on our online platform last year in the middle of the pandemic where he prayed to receive the Lord. And so uh, today we get the opportunity to baptize him. So this is this is gonna be an awesome day. So let's go do it. You can hear them chatting. Right? I got the GoPro. We're gonna be capturing this today, man. Yeah. Oh, you, got <laughs> no, you gotta show this to your family. Not the so. hey. hey, how's it going? Hey, hey. I stay hey. away from all these. <laughs> You see for this media stuff, bro. This yeah, is gonna be good. Yeah. This is gonna be good. So Lord, we just wanna, you know, pray pray this prayer over you and just bless you. And um so um from from your words, why do you wanna get water baptized today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Learn about the Lord. <laughs> why all his angels coming to me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, all right. <laughs> Gotta be a reason. Yeah. So yeah. From yeah. this way, yeah. from yeah. this day yeah. forward. Right. Mm. Their desire, as you just yes. expressed, is to want to know Him. Mm. Yeah. What way better to, to, to continue to know Him is doing what He asks us to do. Baptize. Yeah, He wants to ask you guys. Well, Pastor Daniel's heard about the Spirit. <laughs> yeah. Being baptized in the Spirit. Yeah. The Spirit is the one who's going to lead you. In it. He's, a, he's the ultimate teacher for all of us. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Even though we're not with you 24 7. You have the Lord to ask oh, questions. That's good. That's and right. guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna point you yeah. to the word. Mm. I, I, I heard Michelle yes. got you a Bible, so mm. you yes. got that word ready. Son and Holy Spirit. Baptism in water, yeah. baptism in spirit, oh. man. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. God. Ooh. God can do great things. Oh, man. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was so awesome to be able to baptize Dean along with Uncle Peter and Michelle and Karina. That was so amazing and to see some of the guys just watching uh, up on the wall as Dean got baptized. And uh, so yeah, just let this be a reminder to you, uh, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Wasn't that awesome, right? And Dean is so full of joy already, but I tell you what, man, he is not only filled with joy, he's filled with the Spirit. In fact, we were all filled with the Spirit afterwards. It was so awesome that we were able to witness that and, uh, and see the Holy Spirit filling Dean up uh, in his life and his family. It's, it's incredible. So I want to end it here and park it here with a practical step. What can you do? Well, like the video said, maybe you need to contact MGMC. Contact us so that you can also get the three for one deal. Be water baptized as well as be filled with the Spirit. Um, secondly, if you've already done that, if you've already been baptized, then you be filled with the Spirit of God every day. I mentioned that in the video as well. The Apostle Paul says, be continually filled with the Holy Spirit. You can't ever reach the end of that, okay? You can always be overflowing. You can always be getting filled with the Holy Spirit every single day. In fact, I, I say that to the Holy Spirit all the time. When I'm up to my neck here with my kids and I'm stressed out, I say, okay, everybody stop. And I just say, I say a simple prayer, Holy Spirit, help, right? Three simple words, but so powerful because he comes in and he fills each one of us. He fills my kids. He fills my family. He fills me with his Holy Spirit. You might want to do that as well. In fact, as we come to the end of the message today, I want to pray for you that you would be filled with the Holy Spirit. Um, much longer than three words, of course, but I want to pray for you that you would live the better way that you would no longer be lacking, you would no longer be living the full life, but you'd be living the fulfilled life. And so let's pray right now. Holy Spirit, I just thank you. I thank you that you chose and you wanted to come to earth, just as Jesus was talking about that you would come and the wait is over. So we don't have to wait anymore, but we definitely need to ask you to come into our lives, to fill us with, with your spirit. And so Holy Spirit, I ask you, that as everybody hears my voice or they're watching this video right now, that you would fill them, that you would enter into their atmosphere, go across their devices, go across the screens of their computers, and that you would touch them, that you'd penetrate their heads and their hearts, Lord, and fill their spirits, fill their bodies with your Holy Spirit, reviving them, giving them the fulfilled life, giving them the fruit of the Spirit, giving them the best friendship they could ever have because you are the best leader there is. You're the greatest comforter there is. You know all things. You're the best leader there is. Holy Spirit, would you come now and fill every person who's asking for the Holy Spirit, asking for you now in Jesus' name, amen. I wanna end it with one more thing. You may be wanting the Holy Spirit, but you might be also recognizing you know what, Daniel, there is a, a huge void in my life. I don't have a relationship with God at all. And so asking for the filling of the Holy Spirit is next to impossible. Well, I want to tell you right now, it no longer has to be an impossibility. You get to ask Jesus to be in your life right now. And it's very simple. All you got to do is confess that you need Him and that you need Him because you got issues, right? You got sin in your life that you need to confess and repent from and turn to Jesus. And I want to give you that opportunity right now that you can live the fulfilled life starting right now by asking Jesus to come into your life, to be your Lord and your Savior. And if that's you, you can just pray this prayer along with me as well, whether quietly in your heart or out loud, whether you're with your family or you're watching it on your own, pray this along with me. Say, Dear Jesus, I confess that I'm a sinner. I can't measure up. I don't know how to live this life on my own. And I want to repent. I want to turn away from trying to do it on my own, out of pride or out of self-righteousness. I turn to you and I ask you to come into my life, that you would be my Lord and my Savior because you died on the cross for my sins. You died on the cross because you love me and I receive your love. I receive this relationship with you and I receive the Holy Spirit, this gift, this relationship you want to give to me. In Jesus' name, amen. 
This has been a great day. This is actually Pentecost Sunday today. And that's why I felt it so fitting, Pastor Cal felt it so fitting that I give this word to you, all of you today, that you would be filled with the Holy Spirit because when the disciples were waiting in Jerusalem, they prayed and the Holy Spirit came upon them. And I wanna encourage you, I wanna leave you with this today on Pentecost Sunday. Let's be filled with the Holy Spirit, not just today, but every day. God bless you. Whoa, thank you so much, Pastor so Daniel, good. for that super awesome message mm -hmm. and that really incredible testimony. Amen. I mean, I feel like I was right there with him getting baptized in the Spirit. <laughs> and I so mean, good. who doesn't want to live the fulfilled life every single day with the Holy Spirit? I know I do, and I know you do too. And so thank you again, Pastor Daniel, for this incredible message. And here are your announcements for today. First up, we have how to hear God's voice for yourself and others. That's gonna be our prophetic activations that we're gonna be having mm -hmm. on Zoom. And it's gonna be starting this Tuesday mm -hmm. at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Even if, if you did not go to Prophetic Training 1.0 or neither did you take the e-course, you can still attend this powerful training where we're gonna build each other up and really hear God's voice for ourselves and other people. So we'll see you guys there. Awesome. And we want to invite you to come out to our in-person Sunday services, 9 a.m. every single Sunday. It's a time where we get to worship together. We get to hear God's word from our pastors and we get to have discussion times. We also have our kids ministry that's happening at the same time. And so again, we want to invite you, come on out. And we do want to let you all know that we are continuing to wear masks in light of what our governor has um, called us as a state to follow that we at MGMC, we're going to continue to wear masks in our service to protect everyone, whether you're vaccinated or not. And so thank you so much for abiding by this. And we really appreciate all of you. This coming Wednesday, we're going to be having our food drive hosted by Auntie Sandy and the mm -hmm. Kapuna Size uh, Ministry. And so you can come by the church between 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and drop off your goods or any kind mm -hmm. of monetary donations. Once again, this is a great way to make a physical impact and spiritual impact for our community yeah. and our Hawaii. So thank you so much for being a participant and joining us. Awesome, and thank you again for continuing to give of your tithes and your offerings. And you know what? If you have never given a tithe or an offering before, this is a great way to start, to start giving faithfully to the Lord. And so you can give in three different ways. You can give online, or you can send it in through the mail, or you can drop it off in person, either during our in-person service or during our office hours. So thank you so much for giving up your tithes and your offerings. Well, that's it for our announcements. We love you guys so much, and we hope you have a great day and even better week. Aloha. Aloha.